Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Get out of my way, Spikey. Uh, last time, we went to Bandit's Way and uh, got back Mallow's uh, frog coin and also added Mallow as a part of our team. Awesome. Two heads are better than one, right? But anywho, let's head back to Mushroom Kingdom and see if we can purchase whatever it was we could do with the frog coin. Okay. Hi. Where'd you come from, buddy? Alright, so these guys have an elemental weakness, which happens to be Thunderbolt, and since Thunderbolt takes care of multiple enemies... <laughs> It does the perfect amount of damage. Oh, nice. So, while we're here, might as well see if we can save the townsfolk from certain doom and demise. And I'm just gonna have Mario in defense. Hit everybody up with thunderbolts. The thunderbolt is OP! And I love how, like, it does 30 damage EVA, too. Because, like, these guys just so happen to have 30 HP. So it's, like, it's super perfect, you know? Yeah. Awesome. And look at us. We're already standing at 20 FP. This is what happens when you've played a game for years and just happen to memorize a lot of it. <laughs> So, while we're here, we'll go ahead and knock out a few of these shy guys here. It's pretty good for experience, so why not? I'd like to be at least level 5 before we fight the big boss. The big bad of this town here. Okay. Oh, wow. I guess she's impressed by just about anybody who can jump, if that's the case. Oh! That's not a weird move at all. Though, I did want to mention the etc. command for just a second, so... This obviously has, like, our option to either run and defend. But I want to bring this up now, because as Toad mentioned back in the tutorial, um, section of the game. He mentioned that obviously being able to use a timed hit for defending yourself against enemy onslaught isn't always effective against everything, and that is mostly referring to magic. However, if you happen to have defense on hold here, uh, basically what this means is that you can actually defend yourself even if the opponent is using magic. and basically cut the damage you take from it normally and it's pretty helpful to have and if you happen to use the time hit in conjunction with the fence um, if they're using a physical move then you know that just multiplies your chances of taking less damage than usual you know just a little helpful tip by yours truly Actually, there was something we can buy. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick up an antidote pen. And, ooh, boy. That's way more than I thought I'd have in terms of coins. Huh. Let's pick up a few FP refueling thingamajigs. Oh, man. pick up a few of these. Man, I didn't really think that the pick-me-ups would be so cheap in this game. I'm so used to them being like so bloody expensive, but like not only are they cheap, like I think they just straight up refill all of your HP upon death. Like that's pretty broken. I mean then again, this isn't like an entry-level RPG for nothing, so... <laughs> There's going to be a lot of broken things about this game present, if you know what to do. Can I find the block? I'd like to see if I can find it. I 
I know it's in here. I know there's another one here. I guess we'll have to try another day. Oh boy, what's going on here? There are things in our kitchen! <laughs> Scary things! Give it a <laughs> Thunderbolt! Away! Charity, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is like killing me. I think I'm starting to come towards the end of this recording session, so like once I get this video done, I'm probably gonna stop. <laughs> I can't record too many videos at a time, it's just constant wear and tear on my throat, I swear. Oh no. I'm scared. But hey, he seems pretty cool with it. <laughs> awesome. Ooh, flower tab. Oh, he knows exactly what to do to make this kid happy. <laughs> I guess we can grind a few more enemies. Okay. Oh my god. Thank you. Jesus. Oh boy. What's going on here? Actually, now that I think about it, I think there's things you can do in the castle as well to help out the people. Let's go ahead and do that. Like, technically, you can skip all of this and just head straight for the boss. But you'd be missing out on some pretty good stuff if you do. Yeah, why not? It's two points, but two points are better than one, so... And plus, for someone like Mallow with very low physical attack, it's a good thing to have. Oh. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, that's good to have. Alright, so we get a little fill-up room here. Got a save block here. But I'm confident enough that we'll be able to fight the boss without needing a save block, so... I think we're gonna go ahead and just evade these enemies now. And, well... Except for this poor dude. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, got a wake-up pen. Nice. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess we can go back in here and just grab all this stuff again. That's cool. That's definitely something to keep into consideration. That only works for that instance, by the way. You can't just go back in there anytime you want and just refill on all of that. It doesn't quite work that way. Let's bounce the night away! What is this, like some kind of new crack or something? Not so fast, pal! Bam! I'm jump man. What are you on? Yeah, I I'm a bit used to your flow chart by now. And what is that star hanging off in the back? And what is that creepy, weird-looking pogo thing?
All right, so now we have our first big main bad guy boss thing. This here is Mac. I believe he has 350 HP. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up the pop-up here real quick, just to go ahead and confirm that. I could be totally wrong. You never know. We don't quite have the skill to determine all of that, like, uh, precisely just yet. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do is that I think Mac here is actually weak to jump, as opposed to fire. I could be wrong. And Thunderbolt, like, as you already know, it gets rid of the minions for free. So, like... Okay, oh, okay, so Max actually weak to Thunderbolt, and it actually ends up making him lose a turn. Okay, okay. Let's see how Fire Orb does in comparison. Okay, not, not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and save our FP. Okay, maybe I should have taken that turn to defend myself, but... I don't know, that didn't really do a whole lot of damage, so... Okay. Just gonna go ahead and save our FP for whenever the minions come back. Okay, that looks like it's gonna hurt. Or not. Okay, yeah, we did some leveling. Paid off. Okay, so the jump skill here doesn't seem to be that much worse or better than the fire orb. So we're going to stick with that just to save FP. Doesn't seem too bad. Okay, there we go. And I think we have enough FP to throw in a Thunderbolt again. <laughs> he just straight up does it again. Okay, whatever. Honey syrup, help. Oh, good, a freebie. Okay, so what they mean by freebie is that whenever you use up a consumable, you actually end up getting another one in place of it. So it's like you never use the item at all. Again, just another, like, thing that more or less proves that this is kind of meant to be, like, an RPG for newcomers, more or less. Oh my god, what the heck? Is he just gonna keep sending them? Ah, well, he's dead, so that doesn't really matter, I guess. Additional EXP out of that. Nah, doesn't look like it. Never mind. Oh yeah, I was wondering what was up with that star in the background. That looks like a plot MacGuffin. Yep, definitely a plot MacGuffin. Uh-oh. Oh, so there's a boss that leads them all, huh? All right, buddy. They're gone. Gracious! Oh, it's you, Mario. What a relief. Once again, Mario to the rescue. But who were those? Okay. Yeah, that and then some. <laughs> 
doesn't seem like a bad idea. Everything! Because Ted Woosley said so! And his own bold terms. Tadpole Pond. <laughs> As I was saying. I mean, I would figure you'd know. Could Mac, the sword-like monster who had crashed into the Mushroom Kingdom, have anything to do with the star piece that Mario found? Oh, that was a sword? Our heroes move on towards Karo Sewers. Or Kiro. I don't know. Does it matter? I wonder if that's like Kanji for something. And speaking of which, I think I'm going to go ahead and put on that, uh, wake up pen. Oh shoot, I forgot to put on the antidote pen. What the heck? I'm such a retard. Oh my god. Oh, and, oh yeah, that's right. Accessories can also boost up your, uh, defenses as well. And attack power, depending on, like, whatever you're putting on. So that's always good to have. So like you have an you, you actually have a reason to put on like anti-status equipment even though it might not necessarily be the best one to have at that given time, you know. I'm standing guard. You sure are. I still would like to know where that hidden box is. Actually, you know what? I think I might know. I thought I knew. What? Lame. Rip. Alright, I guess that doesn't really matter now, does it? Let's see if we can... Actually, there's something I want to check first. All right, we'll have to check him out later. And let's see what we can do with that frog coin. Yeah, don't forget to come back here. Oh, okay. That's gonna definitely be pretty important for something later on. So, yeah, that's definitely not something you wanna forget about. All right. So off to Karo Sewers it is then. Below? I mean, I would've figured you'd run into him on the way here, but whatever. Alright, and there's our stopping point. So, next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, we're gonna check out the sewers, so see you guys then.